Face. Face near left edge. Speech off. Hi guys, it's VI Life with Kelly. It's the third day after Christmas. Is it? Today's December 28th. Yeah, it's the third day after Christmas, guys. So yeah, it's Tuesday, December 28th, 2021. When you guys are watching this and after a lot of long soul searching and pondering, I decided I'm going to do my own hair. Yep, guys, this is what kind of video it is. I'm going to apply my own semi-permanent um, hair color. I'm going to deep condition my own hair. I'm going to put my own um, protein and repairing cream serums in. I am going to wash my own hair. All of it. So, if you're interested in seeing how I do this, keep watching. This will be multiple part video so this first video will be me showing you what I'm going to use I think I have seven products that I'm going to be using in my hair and then um, the next video will be me showing you my hair after I rinse out the color so the end of this video will be me with my hair color in here I might have a hot topic because I have to leave the hair color in my um, head for like 35 minutes so um I don't know I don't want the video to be super super long but it will end with me having the color I do a rinse um I don't do a permanent and that's a midnight black color I'll show it to you guys and um the second part will be me showing you my hair after I've um, washed and put in my conditioners and me putting my oil. So I'll be putting my leave-in conditioners, repair creams, and oils in my hair at that point. And then I'll be letting my hair air dry. So you'll get part one and part two of this video tonight you know all things being equal and then part three will be sometime on tomorrow um it just depends you know because i'll be letting it finish in air drying tomorrow so i'll post pictures for sure on my ig and twitter for you guys to see what it looks like um down while it's air drying um because what i'll do after i finish letting my hair air dry i'm gonna come back and take i have a hair dryer that's a brush that's designed to help you straighten your hair while blow drying it so i will be doing that with you all and then the last part to this video will be my daughter straightening my hair so I don't think I'm gonna make you guys I'm not I don't I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna do an hour and a half of that um, I probably have her take a picture like at the beginning you know once she completes like each section or something like that and then the final would be like a collage on IG and Twitter and then I'll have her take some small videos here and there. I'll post them on TikTok. And um, we'll do, you know, like a 15 or 20 minute on here. Like at the beginning. And then like the final result. And I'll let you guys know what I think about the combination of products that I use this time. Versus what I might use the next time. I am challenging myself. I decided today as well that I'm going to do my own hair for 2022. Depending on how this blow drying hair brush goes, because this will be my first time using it and I bought a couple of them like in the summer. 
I bought them for my daughter. Excuse me, that's vitamin water if you guys wonder. So, depending on how it goes and how easy it is, I'm challenging myself to do my own hair for the entire year. I'm pretty sure if it's cold next month, then for the rest of the winter, um, I'll just keep my hair, you know, in a bun and stuff like that. You know how I've been wearing it, just straight and ponytail and stuff like that. But then in the warmer months, I'm going to do cornrows. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do different cornrow styles and twist. Um, pretty sure that's what's going to happen. I might do some color beads or something like that. I don't know yet. But I'm pretty sure that's how I'm feeling. Um, it's going to be all about braids and twist with my own hair. And then, you know, once it gets towards the holiday season, you know, um, and special occasions, okay, I'll do straight and curls and stuff like that. Fun stuff. But for New Year's Eve this week, I am going going for the straight with curls. Um, I haven't found my dress yet. We're going to do that tomorrow. I'm going to take you guys with me to get my nails done and to go looking for dresses so you'll get those two uploads tomorrow nails on the hunt for dress new year's dresses and um part three to my hair styling which will be me blow drying my hair and possibly my daughter starting to I guess no I think it's gonna be a part four so part three tomorrow for sure you guys will get me blow drying my hair and then on Thursday look for part four part and part five of my daughter flat ironing my hair if for some reason she's not available i will be flat ironing my own hair and i know y'all are like really i used to do it i used to make myself do that and it used to come out pretty good but it would take me like a couple days because it's just a serious process um yeah so guys, that's what's going on. I'm so sorry for this super long intro, but I just kind of had to map that out with you guys real quick. Um, I am super excited on Monday. I'm taking this marketing class. So I'm super excited about that. Um, and I'm not going to tell you guys about it until I take the class. I don't want to say anything until I experience it. Um, I'm doing it for two reasons. I'm taking the marketing class for advancing my own um, business and for knowledge I can pass on and share. Um, but I'm also doing it because I'm interested in the structure of how um, this webinar has been like outlined in the process um, because I'm considering launching um, a couple of webinars next year. So I want to see, you know, you know, how it goes. So guys, I'm excited about that. Um, the webinar is, includes an ebook and I want to see, you know, how long does their ebook, how they structure it, all the different things. Um, because of course I've shared with you guys in previous, um, vlogs that I am going to be releasing a few ebooks, um, you know, of course, I'm doing my pescatarian, vegetarian, and vegan um, cookbooks. Um, so I'm excited about that. But I also have um, like some weight weight loss um, tips, some nutrition tips, um, things to consider. Um, did you know? I want to do a did you know self help book. Um, so just a few things like I share with clients all the time. Um, I also want to do an ebook on how to get started in the legal field um, for every kind of interest. So it's like 
if you just want to work as a paralegal, if you want to become a full-blown lawyer, like the entire process. Because guys, I spent like three weeks researching. I was like for hours and hours, like 10 hours easily a day reading and calling different phone numbers and going from this website to the next website and signing up for this and then going to that workshop like it it was something it, it definitely test are you really interested in this do you really want this joining a lot of different groups and um wow so i would have really enjoyed finding a book like what i'm about to put together for you guys um that helps you know just boom this is what if i want to become this this is all i have to do and these are the options with this and whether or not you actually need a degree or a certification and the benefits of a degree or certification or how to just fast start your career things you can do to just go ahead on and jump into the field how much you can expect to make with a degree versus without a degree you know how far can you go legally you know, all these things, all these different questions. What is the LSAT? What is a great score? What determines? What are the determining factors? What's the best thing? Like all, I'm just going to give you guys all the tea, all the costs associated. I'm going to put the links in there that take you directly to if you're eligible for waivers for these application fees and vouchers for the LSAT exam and like links to go to preferred study guides and Guys, I'm just getting to the point. Like all this, this ebook is just going to get you there. You won't have to do anything else, but just write me a nice five star review <laughs> and refer other people to the book. <laughs> and I'm not gonna make it pricey neither. I'm not gonna make it pricey, so. Just stuff like that. So that's the one thing I'm really excited about taking this marketing class on Monday. I will give you guys a, I will do a video on my experience. I will put the link of the class if I recommend it. Um, I will tell you guys my takeaways about it. Like do a full review. Um, so, you know, if you're interested, knock yourself out and be blessed in 2022. Okay, guys, let's get started. This is a hair video. <laughs> So, I will be taking my glasses off here in a minute um, because I will be applying my hair color. Okay, so boom, let's get into it. Um, I put the stuff down here so I could kind of be organized. So, the first thing I'm going to be applying um, to my hair is this um, semi-permanent hair color by Clairol. I get this from Sally's Beauty. It's like six dollars or eight, eight dollars or something like that. It's less than ten dollars for this. Um, it's the midnight black color. One A is an apple. I get this one every single time. Um, I really would say if you have the same amount of hair as I do to get two bottles, if you need to dye your like all your hair from root to shaft, you know, to tip from root to tip. If you don't and you're just like kind of spot correcting like what I do, um, then one bottle is fine. The thing I love about this semi-permanent um, color is that you put it in like conditioner. So you don't have to worry about staining um, your scalp. You don't have to worry about using a paint, a hairbrush, whatever um, to get this well of like coated in your hair. You don't have to go through any of that. Um, you just literally work this in like you would any other hair cream or conditioner and leave it in there for 35 minutes. You do want to make sure you have on, you know, something you could care less about. I have this. This These are one of the towels I don't care for. Um, they just shed a lot when I wash them. So this is a towel I will use while I'm using this because I'll need to wipe my fingers off um, and then, you know, sit here and let my hair hang on this um, towel. So, you know, I don't care. And it washes out very well as well. 
this washes out on your linen very well so you you can reuse the towels this video is not sponsored by the way nothing i'm talking about i receive any financial compensation this is just me talking about what hair products i use when i do my own hair which is really rare but i will be doing it all year long next year because i don't want to try anybody else um, I'm just I'm over it. I realized I need to just do my own hair um, And that's that. Okay guys, so Like I told you this is less than ten dollars. It's like eight dollars and some change if you get the pro discount You know, then it may drop down to seven. I Don't remember but it's the midnight black the one a is an apple um, by Clairol the semi-permanent rinse in midnight black okay that's what i'm gonna start off with here in a minute let me put this here now the recommended um conditioner that i was told then i also get this from sally's and i don't know if this is the front or not is the b care um this is the b care color safe conditioner here and um this is what i've been buying i buy this from sally's i get it when i pick up um the hair dye then i pick up the conditioner this lasts me a good while though i will say i probably could get a good five uses out of this bottle so this is also under ten dollars i don't remember this is one of those um brands that's on sale quite a bit in sally's um but it is the be care and I think this is the Be Care Manuka Honey Love Conditioner. Um, yeah. So, this is what this is. I get this from Sally's as well. So, you can dye your own hair so far and condition it for less than 20 bucks. Okay. Um, then, the next thing that I have over here is the carol's daughter i don't know where i got this from but this is the um carol's daughter hair smoothie this is the deep conditioning hair smoothie this is a hair mask um when i put these hair masks on like if i was doing this in the daytime i would not rinse this hair mask out my head i would let my hair completely air dry with this hair mask um so to each his own i learned from the glam twins that you don't have to rinse out conditioners you can actually keep them um and it doesn't harm your hair the hair mask the same thing um i want to say over the years though even before you know the glam twins affirmed and confirmed it you know how you always want to be affirmed and confirmed by professionals. Um, I was keeping hair mask in my hair all day anyway. Um, just because I liked how thick and soft, how thick the product was and my hair was really soft with it. And I always noticed how dry my hair was after getting washed. And how much product I would have to put in my hair and keep putting in my hair and putting in my hair for days before it got back soft and and vibrant so it was like i would my natural inclinations was like put more conditioner like and i would sometimes be like why do we even use shampoo like i remember thinking even though i will say the shampoos my mom used in my hair when i was growing up um weren't as harsh you know, she always would get like something for dry damaged hair, um, something that had honey in it and like VO5. Even though those are inexpensive hair products, they really worked well. Suave, I, that's what my mom majorly washed my hair with was VO5 and Suave. And Let's Jam had a phenomenal, if you could get your hands on Let's Jam shampoo to this day, great product. She would use Elastic QP, had a shampoo back then too. They had a deep conditioner and a leave-in conditioner. She would use those products on me um, and the leave-in conditioner by Let's Dam. She would, and Cream of Nature. She would, those were the things that were in my bathroom. 
Um, but then my mother will also make her own conditioner for me in the kitchen, which consisted of eggs, mayonnaise. I can, I don't like eggs and mayonnaise to this day. Um, just having to sit under this hair dryer with that stuff dripping off my face and I, oh, it was just such a nightmare, but it worked. It made my hair super thick and very long it did do what it was supposed to do. I got the protein and the deep conditioning that I needed. It did stimulate the hair growth. And so praise God for a mom that reads and, and you know, lives by faith. Faith without works is, is dead, y'all. So anyway, here's this hair mask I will be using. Um, this lasts me a good three washes because I am heavy handed with this. Like I put three fingers in the container when I go to use these products. And I, I feel like I'm gonna finish this today. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna finish. And it's like a, probably a third of the way down. Like it's probably only a third up, you know, left, a third left in here. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to finish this today. Okay, this video is getting long. Okay, guys. So then um, the next thing that I have is the Eden Cleansing Co-Wash. This is actually, actually what I'm going to wash my hair with. Now, some people will say when they use, when they dye their hair, um, this one they use the clarifying shampoo and that's when they actually use a shampoo of course you want one that's paraben free sulfate free and all those things like that I'm not using a permanent hair dye I'm using a semi-permanent rinse and it does make a difference um, I'm using a Clairol product um, and so this this cleansing co-wash is plenty on top of that, I'm going to be using that Be Care Manuka Honey Love um, conditioner that I'm going to rinse out as well. So I'll wash my hair two or three times with this cleansing cold wash and then I'll come in and wash it twice with the Be Care con um, Color Safe Conditioner. Um, so that's five opportunities to rinse my hair clean and get all the dye out of there and move on with my life. Um, then I'm going to put my hair smoothie in, my um, Carol's Daughter Deep Conditioning Hair Smoothie in my hair. Um, and I'm going to follow that up with the leave-in detangling um, anti-frizz repair cream by Main Choice. Um, I don't know... Okay, I don't know how much the Carol's Daughter Deep Conditioning Hair Smoothie is. I don't, I think I might have bought that at Kroger. Our Kroger has a phenomenal section on hair products. Um, they have everybody over there. So I'm probably, I'm pretty sure I paid less than $12 for that. Um, a comparable hair smoothie or hair mask that I used to like to use is the Triple Moisture Hair Mask by Neutrogena. And that one's definitely less than $10. You could pick it up at your local Walgreens. Um, probably could find it at Walmart, stuff like that. But I don't remember how much the Carol's Daughter is. If I find it online, I'll leave it in the comments of this video. And then um, I'll post a picture of all one, two, three, I guess seven of these products on my IG and Twitter so you guys could see. But um the Eden Cleansing Cold Wash, I definitely don't remember where I bought that, honestly. Um, I'll definitely let you guys know. I don't see myself repurchasing the Eden Cleansing Cold Wash. Um, because I don't I never remember what the experience was like, which lets me know I don't it's it didn't do anything spectacular for me. Um, so I usually go between Eden and As I Am has a cleansing cold wash that I use. Um, and so I have some Elastic QP um, leave-in conditioner in the bathroom right now. I think it's like a mango fragrance or something or the mango line um, that I may end up using today. So I'll let you guys know in the next clip. But um, 
no i don't remember how much the in eden cleansing co wash is okay this last product which is the main choice um leave-in detangling anti-frizz repair cream um i got this one from sally's as well sally's beauty and i do not i think this was like 9.99 honestly i think this was 9.99 i'm pretty sure i bought this when they had the whole spend 40 dollars on natural hair car hair products and you got 10 dollars off i'm pretty sure that's when i bought this so that was like august mm, i have quite a bit left in this bottle like at least like 70 percent still in here um so for me this could last a while like i could have this until june of next year with me doing my own hair it just depends um there's nothing exciting to say about this. I have some Garnier Fruit Teas leave-in conditioner in the bathtub right now that I didn't bring over here. It's lime green. Um, it costs like two, it's like two for five dollars all the time at the local Kroger or wherever you see it. It's like never more than three dollars. I'm not gonna buy that anymore. Um, I may go ahead on and just finish the bottle today just to get rid of it because I don't want to bring it into the new year. So um, we'll see, but I'm not, it's way over there, guys. I don't really want to show it to you guys because it's insignificant and I don't really know if I'm going to use it. But I'm pretty sure I got that from Kroger from the hair aisle as well. I um, Like I said, this is the last product that I'm going to use in my hair before I start putting my oils. Okay, so once I put this in my hair, this leave-in recovery cream, repairing recovery cream, then I'm going to, let me see if it's right here or not. Then I'm going to, I showed you guys this the other day in the haul when I showed you guys what I picked up from Sally's. Um, This is this Jamaican mango lime hair oil. I actually did like this when I put this in my head the other day. I could feel it immediately like it felt like I was oiling my scalp but I didn't have to because I just squeezed and pointed so I'll put some of that in my scalp after I put that cream in and I'm gonna put some olive oil in my hair now I do wish I would have stopped at Trader Joe's um at some point like I wanted to because I did want to pick up some grapeseed oil and some avocado oil they have a great selection of cooking oils, by the way. Um, if you have a Trader Joe's anywhere near you or you're going to go anywhere um, near a Trader Joe's, you might want to pick up some of their cooking oils because they have a great selection. But I use their cooking oils for my hair. So being that I'm going to style my hair and being that I'm really going to try my best not to have to flat iron my hair, um... Depending on how my day goes tomorrow, I'll stop by Trader Joe's because it's super close to my house and pick up the grapeseed and the avocado oil. And before I start blow drying my hair, um, I'll put some of that in each section and then start the blow drying process. I will show you guys what heat protectant I use. It's actually by um, Chi. It's actually by Chi. Um, and it's a heat protectant as well as a blow drying hair lotion that's supposed to help cut down the drying time. The Glam Tunes used to recommend this Redken um, heat protectant all the time. If I happen to see that um, while I'm out, I might pick that up as well um, to try. I think it was like a platinum, Redken platinum um heat protecting and blow dry solution you know that cuts the time down um but anyways once i get to that part i'll show you guys what i'm using then so whatever happens whatever happens i'll end up showing you guys at the beginning of the video um what i ended up using and i'll definitely let you guys know in the next clip if i did end up using that garnier fruit teas leave-in conditioner and I'll show it to you guys at that point, okay? So, this is what's going on. I think this video is like super long already. But, I did promise to show you guys 
um, me putting the color in my head. This would probably be helpful to somebody anyway um, that just is thinking about doing their own hair. Maybe you never did your own hair before and you just don't feel like you should. Like, oh, I don't feel like I got the skill to do it. When I tell you guys the products that I use are for the skillless, those of us who do not, we definitely do not have the skill set or the background or even the attention span or even the desire to do our own hair because I know I don't if I could get me a good hairstylist I will not comb my own hair if I could get somebody that would do what I ask which is do my deep conditioner do my I had a great stylist in um Texas um shout out to Anita Mary Anita Murray Hair Design in Hearst, Texas. She used to have a spot super close to the Northeast Mall. And then her daughter started doing hair. Um, I want to say her daughter's name is Shamika. But if you find one, you'll find the other. Anita Murray Hair Design. Her daughter did my hair. She she takes her time. But when I tell you your hair comes out so wonderful, you're not in pain. She's a perfectionist. When she does a haircut for you, it comes out gorgeous. Gorgeous, guys. So, and she's worth it. Just be mentally prepared to be in there. If you have long hair like me, you're going to be there for a while. But she was good. I really can't complain. My hairstylists in Texas were good, guys. I cannot complain about them. They they had a good price point. Um, They did a good job. The ones out here... Mm, I feel like I'm just, it's because, you know, I'm not spending enough money with them. I do. I feel like the stylists out here, they want the bundles. They want the weaves. They want the sew-ins. You know, they want you to buy hair. They want the micro links. Like, they want the $1,000 client. They don't want to spend three hours with me while I'm trying to grow my own hair, take care of my own hair, strengthening my own hair. They don't want to. They're like, ma'am, no. I don't want to. And I get it because the only stylist that I know that have long hair, even when I go to other cultures, they don't want to do my hair either, guys. They'll be like, oh, I don't have time. Or they'll try to talk me into cutting my hair. Mm -mm. I don't want it. They're like, no thanks, no thanks, and no thanks. Okay, guys. So, the thing about this right here, what I'm doing with you guys, the thing about it is, this towel is not going to be long enough to get us where we need to be as far as not okay let's see okay here we go as far as not touching anything okay you guys might not see any gray i've been prematurely graying since my 20s and it's just all about my stress load if my stress load is not that bad then I'll just have all my normal hair color. But if it is, I'll start having patches of gray here and there. 
It gets out of control. Okay, cool. So let's get started. Because I do want fresh hair for the new year. Y'all, we have to have fresh nails, fresh pedicures, fresh hair, fresh energy. We got to have our plans, guys. We got to wipe the slate clean for the new year, guys. Okay, so here it is. Boom. Let me see. Let me see. I wish I could play music. I remember when I used to watch the Glumptons when they were like in high school and they would have their ear pods in guys listening to music while they were doing it. Cause it takes a while like me doing this. I could easily just not even do this because tomorrow I have to run around and I could just slick my hair in a ponytail again. But no, we're not doing this. I called a few places, just for y'all to know. I called a few places today to, um, you know, get prices, find out who had time. I had decided I was going to go to a Dominican hair salon in the um, Chambly area. Oh, no, you guys, you know. Oh, look at the Lord. That is so good, guys. I literally realized I didn't check the time. And my phone just told me what time it is. So, what I like about these pointers is that you can just point the color in your scalp and smooth it over. So, you don't have to worry with parting your hair. It smells good, too. You don't have to worry about parting your hair. Oh no, it's not getting in there. Yes, it is. It's getting in there. This is, this is the perfect non-sided tool. You squeeze it in all your different sections of your head and you smooth it. So it's covering Okay, now this is why you need a really long, you know what I'm going to do since, since this is my, our new experience together, I'm going to order me a black robe that I can wear when I do this. Cause I only do this like once every three to four months, three to five months. It just depends. Like once three months passes by, I start asking, can you guys see my gray? If you can't see it, but I also have to ask like a quite a few people because people will tell me no, because to them, what they see is insignificant. I don't want to see any gray ever. I want no gray at all. And they'll still be talking about, oh, no, it's fine. It's not fine, guys. So, okay, what I do after I feel like I've sufficiently coated every strand, then I come in on the sides. And this is where I start the process of let me see oh yeah that's good and i like the clairol hair dye because you can feel it smoothing in like when you run your fingers through there it's smoothing in love it so yep guys 
the people keep telling me oh no it looks good it looks good then i just go ahead on and do it anyway i'm like okay nobody's telling the truth um I have dyed my hair before, like done a rinse and then didn't have to do a rinse again for years because I was just really good at a good place and I didn't need it anymore. And then my stress level went back up through the roof and had to do it some more guys. You just, whatever makes you feel good as far as your presentation, do it. You don't need anybody to tell you, oh, such and such. And, like, you don't need permission. And you don't want gray hair popping everywhere. Don't. I don't like it. I do not. My dad's side of the family, thou shalt dye thy hair. They believe very much in coloring and reinventing yourself. Okay, guys, so I just touched my ear. I was doing really good about not touching my face. But I just touched my ear with some of this. Hold on. So, right now... Okay, right now I feel like I've done a really good job of getting and keeping everything coated very well. Let me see about the sides of my hair because I don't. I don't like when it looks like you forgot to get that corner. Like, oh, your hair looks good, but you forgot a spot? No. Okay, let me make sure I got... Okay, guys, so... That's it. Okay, so basically... It's looking like everything is coated. Comment down below if you guys can see. Can you guys see it? Can you see a difference? Okay, so it's a smidge of some left. Let me just knock it down real quick. Okay. I don't feel good about this part right here. It's so interesting how, like, some sides of your face you can do so much easier than other sides okay hold on oh no guys i feel like i'm making a mess now hold on i really didn't want to touch it after i put it in there okay so okay this is the thing Okay. Gravy. Now, what you can do, if you, this, like I said, all I'm doing is smoothing this in my hair. I'm using the pointer. I started pointing it, point directing the color in my head like I'm oiling my scalp. So I didn't even have to do anything, but just squeeze the product in my scalp and smooth or press it in to coat the strands and the roots so my roots are thoroughly covered with color okay thoroughly now for the rest of you all who are like okay you did the roots but you didn't do the strands of hair as far as i know my strands don't need it okay now comment down below if you disagree then what will happen is 
tomorrow I will go get another I will go get another jar I mean another bottle and I will do my strands but as far as I understood I just needed to attack the roots and those are thoroughly I've gotten like from the root a good four inches out so for me my job is done okay hold on guys if you're wondering where I got these black cows from I got them from Sally's as well they come in a pack of 10 I want to say I pay like $16.99 or $25 for them something like that so I started putting this color in my hair like 954 I think my phone just said it was 1006 so I'm gonna let this stay in my hair until 1040 um and now that I've touched all over I wasn't supposed to use this other hand because I was gonna use it to cut the video off but anyways guys so now we're at this wonderful point in our relationship where oh 1003 so it's 1003 so we're doing good so i'm going to leave this in my hair until about 10 35 and i feel like everything is well coated Oh my gosh, I got some of this crap on my neck. I was trying not to do that. But let me not call it crap. My hair color dye. Semi permanent. Don't forget, this is semi permanent rinse, guys. And this is what's going on three days outside after Christmas. Um, I've been getting a lot of great alerts on sales going on i will tell you if you love the bath and body three wick candles they have them on sale for eleven dollars and 95 cents and the sale ends i think at 359 eastern standard time you still have time to order online or by phone if you're interested in that um that's something that caught my attention today. The semi-annual sale for Victoria's Secret is going on. I know online for sure. I'm not sure when it's going to start at the store. It could have started today. I don't know. <sighs> okay, guys. So, this is it. Let me. I'm going to get up now. I am a person that wants to get like every last drop of my product. And there is a little bit left. But, um... Let me get up. Let me wash my hands so that let me make sure I don't touch anything so I can turn this on. Oh, no, guys. You know what? I don't even know. This sounds like a bar of soap. I don't know how this is about to work out. You guys, when I do my own hair, I do everything in the shower, other than this part right here. So, let me see. Ooh, gorgeous. Okay. So, it looks like what I'm about to do is watch a video. Watch a video. For about 30 minutes and then I'll be um I'll be oops sorry guys I knocked all around I'll be using my cleansing co-wash first and then the be care manuka honey conditioner color safe conditioner next okay I'll see you guys in the next clip stop recording video